Overview and Objectives Mobile communication is changing at a fast pace. The changes can be attributed to the need for supporting latest services while enhancing mobility aspects of mobile networks. By the end of this module, you will be able to identify the key milestones of various generations of mobile networks. At the close of the research and proposal phase in June 1998, 10 suitable terrestrial radio access technologies had been proposed. Each proposal naturally... This module will introduce you to the UMTS network architecture. But UMTS network is broadly divided into two parts. Radio Access Network, RAN, and Core Network, CN. RAN is that part of the network, Wideband Code Division Multiple Access, WCDMA, is an air interface standard which is found in 3G mobile telecommunication networks. The CDMA system works on 64 kilobit per second digital signals. These signals can be digitized voice, ISDN channels and pseudo-random code is generated. The received signal is correlated with the generated code extracting the information data. This module will introduce you to the basic concepts of radio resource management. The handover procedure is composed of a number of single functions such as measurements on serving informed neighbor cell, filtering of measurements. This module will introduce you to the basic concepts of high-speed packet access, HSPA, motivations. As per the shared channel transmission principle, a set of radio resources are dynamically shared among multiple users, primarily in the time.